Welcome back my Kasoko. Today we have a special video. It's a little bit different than the other ones. Instead of opening packs, we're gonna be doing a deck profile of my Digimon deck. But before we begin, look at this big! This is huge! Look at it! I'll try to focus, but yeah, it's big! That's what she said. But let's begin! We have a blue deck. Of course, you see everything blue, 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 blue. My undies are blue. Everything is blue. You know, I gotta represent the blues. And we have the Hexa. Is it Hex Blaumon or Hexa Blaumon? Hexa Blaumon, I guess it has the lottery. But, anyways, let's begin. I took this deck uh, last week's to last week's tournament. I went 3 1 and ended up being in fifth place out of 31 people. After the tournament, I did some changes, so it should actually be better. So let's begin with the Digitamas. We're running three of the Upamon. That's because, you know, when your opponent has no digi uh, Digimon with Digivolution, uh, you know, when you um, when you attack, you get to draw a card, which always drawing a card is always helpful. The other two that I have is the Wanyamon. When your opponent has two Digimons, we know Digivolution, uh, then it gets that Digimon gets plus 2000 um, during your turn. So that's actually pretty good. Could come in handy. Let's say you have a Hex Blaumon, it will go to 13. Still pretty good. Could kill an 11 without dying or a 12 without himself dying. So that's really helpful. I uh, probably think about running four of the Upamons and just one of them, but right now I'm keeping it as 3 2. Now let's start with the rookies. We do have three of the Vmons. That's you know standard. I think for me that's a standard card because you know it's a three, three cost to hard play it. It has jamming, boom, kill. It will survive. We try to kill it. That's fine. No, no issues at all. After that, we do have we're running four of the promo Gomamon. This one is a really good card because whenever you trash, well once per turn, whenever you trash an opponent's uh, Digivolution card, you gain one memory. So in this deck, that's pretty much all we do. Trash, trash, and trash. So you'll be getting a bunch of memory. And then we do have for the Bulukumon, Buluk I think that's what it's called, which it has the same effect as the Gomamon, but it's a cost four to hard play. But it has more, but it doesn't matter. You have this two on the field, you trash it, you already gain two memories, you know? So it's a, it's a really good card. You have two of this, it doesn't matter, you gain memory. So that's what we want with this day. Gain memory and destroy your opponent. And then for the last rookies, I am running three of the cost two Gomomon. Because sometimes you just, you know, you play two, you're usually gonna be right here. So even if you're on, I don't know if you guys are able to see, if you're one, you put your opponent to one, to one, too. So it's like you only pay two and then you play, you know, I'm running level ones, I mean, cost one level fours. So, you know, right away, you're trying to get to that Hex Blau Mon. Uh, so you're probably thinking, how come you're not running um, the other two? It's just, you know, you'll see. I am running an Imperial Mon, so that's why we also had the Vmon that has jamming. So for the level four, we're running four copies of the Colomon. Which it is the blocker, it's the one cost, you know, the standard. You usually don't even want to block with it, you just want to go straight to to uh, Hexa Blaumon. But you have to block, you have a blocker. So that's really good right here. We also have running, of course, four copies of the Peldramon. Because when you Digibol, you get to trash up to two Digivolution cards for the bottom one of your opponent's Digimon. So right away you do it, boom, there goes two of them. And in this meta, it's actually everyone's doing inherit attack, effect, I mean effects, so it's really good to get, or Digiburst is really good to get rid of your opponent's uh, Digivolution, so that itself is a really good card. Play two, trash bottom two. And of course, it's perfect for Hex Blaumon, because you already know Hex, uh, Hex of Blaumon effect, which means, well, we'll get to it. And then for the last four, we are running three of the Tobiumon, which of course is a level four, cost one to the digible what, what more do you want you know you just right away you try to you yeah you do want this one but if you can this one's really, really good and also let's say you get level stuck 
on three. You don't have the level three, which it happened to me in the tournament. That's why I lost that one match on both of the games. I got stuck at level three. So to hard play one, oh, and then I got stuck at level four, which I'm running like 15 level threes and like 11 level fours. I was like, how? But either way, if that happens, you don't have a level three, boom, just uh, you pay three and you already have a level four. Next turn, boom, level five and six. So that's really good. And then for the level fives, we are running three or the Pildramon. I was running actually four, but I don't know, that was too much. Uh, so I just drop it down to three, you know, it has jamming, of course. And then when you Digimon Pildramon two, instead of being uh, a level, it costs five, it drops to uh, cost three. And once per turn when you're attacking, if it's an Pildramon, you get to stand it again. So it's, it's a good card. And then we are running four of the Christ Chris Peldramon. This card, of course, it's always good. It's the same as the other ones. Charge the bottom the evolution cards of all of your opponents. So not just one, this one. So the level four is trashed up to two, which is good, but for just one Digimon. On this one, you get to trash one of all of your opponent's Digimons. That's really good as well. And then they heard effect. If your opponent has the Digimon with no Digivolution card, it doesn't have to be two or three, just one. He gets plus security, attack plus one. So that's really good. Hex Blamon, it's already gonna be doing two damage, you know? And then last level five, we are running the Marine Devimon. So I took off one of the Peldramon to put this one because it costs two, you know? Sometimes you just wanna rush it, you wanna have extra. Um... So let's say I'm a one um uh, let's say i'm a two right now i, I did this one i'm a zero boom uh we have hexablaumon your opponent has no digivolutions i mean yeah no digivolution cards so they can attack or block so next turn they might digivolve it they might kill it but hey they gotta you know do some sacrifices so that's still good now for the level six we are running only two imperial Dramon. i was running three when i went three one and I saw too many in my hands, and I wasn't even seeing too many of my uh, uh, Pildramon. You, you know, yeah, Pildramon. So I lowered down to two, because like I said, Imperial Dramon is not the main Digimon of this deck. So I run in two. For those of you that don't know the effect, if you Digivolve it on top of a um, Pildramon, then uh, you get to, it drops the Digivolution cost three. Plus, you get to stand the seat when Digibobby on suspend all of your Digimon with jamming. So, you attack, then you Digibob and it stands, and attack once per turn you get attack. So, right away you have three attacks right there. So, I'm running that, right? Then, for the main event, we're running one, two, three, and of course, four of the Hexablaumon. When attacking, trash the two bottom evolution, it is bottom, right? Yeah, two bottom Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon. So right away, you trash in two. Also, on all turns, when your opponent has, oh, and also if your opponent has no, I think was the one, but I got this one. If your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution, he gets jamming too. So that's really well. Um, and also on all turns, all your opponents Digimon with no Digivolution cards, they can attack or block. How amazing is that? So here's an example. So let's say you have this one, right? And then let's just put this is like your perfect board, which it could happen actually. And then you already have this one. And let's just say, just for giggles, it has plus security one already, right? So let's say, boom, attack, it doesn't die because it has generally, if they hit like an option card, then you screw. <laughs> So you're that, and then you attack, you know, attack, whatever. But you, let's say you still have some memory. And let's say you have three memories. Boom, you digible, stands, stands all with jamming. So you still have more attacks, plus when attacking, once per turn attack, so that's already game right there. You see how good it is? That's why I, I'm doing this one. I could go with the um, Regal Kuzma, I think that's the name of the card which when you attack, if I'm not mistaken, when you attack, trash one of your opponents to your pollution card. 
and I think it has plus secure plus one. I'm not hundred percent sure of that, but you do get to draw a card. So that's really good. So those are the cards that I have for the Digimons. Oh no, we're going with level seven actually now. So with level seven, we have running one Omnimon. You're probably saying, how come you're not running two? That's because I don't have another one. Bruh. So before I show you the other card, let me explain this one. When you Digivolve, if it goes to the other side, to your opponent's memory, it goes to attack. So let's say you attack and then you have one zero, one or zero, whatever. So you Digivolve, but courses like this, it can attack, but it is, it, it's a fake. When you Digivolve, you get to suspend and then boom, attack. So it's, you, you get to do multiple attacks on this deck. So it's pretty awesome. And also it has, uh, on all turns, if an opponent's effect would delete this Digimon or return it to the uh, to the to the hand or to the deck, you can prevent it by discarding. Um, it's just one preventer for level trashing. Yeah, but by, by the, uh, discarding a level six Digimon, you could prevent it. So that's really good. The other one that I have is the Omnimon X antibody. If you Digibob it on top of a Digimon, it goes to a cost three. If you just Digibob it to an Omnimon, sorry cost three if you just evolve it to a, a regular level six then you gotta pay six but when attacking you get to the lead remember when attacking not just one time when did you ball no 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 when attacking you get to the lead an opponent's digimon with the same dp or less so this sucker right here is a 15 already so just look at attack you could wipe anything on the board pretty much anything the other effect, uh, when your opponent's uh, Digimon attack, you could actually trash two of these Digimon's Digivolution card to stop the attack. Trying to attack? Nope. Another one? Nope. You know, you could really do so much with this. So that's it. No, that's it for the Digimons. Let's go with the Tamers. I'm running three. I was running four, but now I'm running three of the Sora and Joe Tamers. So at the start of your turn, if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution, you gain two memory. Also, when your opponent uh, at uh, one of your Digimons attack, psh, suspend it and trash up to two Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your opponents. So you're already trashing right there, and then plus the Gomamon and the Bulukumon or whatever it's called, you gain memory like that. So that's what I have, and then I'm running two of the Davis, which is a really good card because right away. You're gonna set up at three and then you activate those effects. You could set up to, depending on how many you have, five, seven, nine. You see the damage right there. You see the, I mean, not the damage, but the memory you're gonna be getting. It's really good. And also on play, you get to uh, reveal the top three. You get a blue Digimon. I'm not running any green, so you at least get a blue Digimon. So if you level stuck, you, you're able to get a card that you need. If you're looking for that Hex Blanc one, you're looking for level five, level four, level three, that's a really good card to look at the deck and know what's up. So that's what I'm running with the teamers. And then I'm running options. Three different options. I'm not running any hammer sparks because in this deck, like I said, you do gain a lot of memory and sometimes you, you don't want that extra. you be like, okay, I already have too much memory. But so it's, you never had too much memory, but still I prefer to get those slots to three options. This one still, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna leave it, I don't know yet, but you play a trash up to two Digivolution cards from the bottom of all of your opponent's Digimon. So that comes in clutch. The second effect, it doesn't matter because I don't have a green Digimon. So that's that. The other one is Aqua Viper. Return one of your Digimons and return up to two of your opponent's level four lower Digimon. So yeah, let's say I have my Gomamon level two, return it to my hand, and then uh, you return you could get rid of two of your opponent's uh, blockers, level four already. So boom, got rid of blockers. So it's really good. So probably I'm gonna put two of this and get rid of this one. Don't know, I gotta still play test a little bit more. And the last option card that I have is the Absolute Blast. So charge the Digivolution card, one of your opponent's Digimon. And again, you get to return another one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution card to the bottom of their deck. So that's really good, especially when they hit any of that security beautiful so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it was a little bit different but that's my um excuse me that's my uh deck profile for my hex blaumon 
slash Imperial Dramon deck. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm taking this uh, to today's tournament, which is Sunday. So hopefully I do good. Uh, like I said, I went 3-1 on the last tournament and I, I'm pretty sure I made it a little bit better because I got, I don't know, it felt too, too much high cost, not change a little bit of cards, just change it by a little bit of cards, it makes a big difference. So if for some reason this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna get rid of this too, add some hammer sparks, we'll still play around a little bit more, but for sure I'm keeping this one. But this one's really good, you get to get rid of two of your opponent's blockers, and now a lot of people are playing their level one cost blockers, so it's, good, it's a good thing to get rid of those. And don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell, like, comment, tell me which other deck profile you want to see. I do have a Dan Demimon deck, which it did pretty good in tournaments, and I have a Diaboramon deck. I haven't play tested it yet at all, but I could still do it, my theory behind it, and you guys tell me if it's good or not. And just to let you guys know, I know it's at the end of the video, but the, the way I make my decks, I go with cards that I like. I'm really not trying to make it uh, competitive, if it comes out to be competitive, perfect, but try to play Digimon that I like. That's how I keep, I guess, playing Digimon, it, it just makes everything just more fun. Then if I just go with meta decks, I'm just like, oh my god, like, everyone's playing the same deck, so it gets kind of boring, but at least even if I lose, I play my own Digimon. I know Hex, Hex and Blamo is a really good deck, which I have because I, lo I love Blue and I love this Digimon. When they showed up, I was like, dude, it looks amazing. I was actually have it on my... Vital, uh, vital bracelet, but I'm not, I just wearing a regular watch, which of course is blue, of course. Gotta go with blue everything. I'm sorry. Okay, right, I gotta stop this. <laughs> I'm going way too much. Well, that's it. Your boy, Do. It's out.